A desert in bloom. People usually say that it's an unusual occurrence. In the case of places like the Sahara Desert, that may be true. But here in Elko, Nevada, a desert in bloom isn't really an accurate statement. Nevada as a whole is a pretty desolate place. It's just that Elko isn't one of those places. Out here, there is just a bloom. And right now, it's the best time of year to see it. I tell them, look behind me. Look, look what we got here. You can see forever from the top to some of these peaks like we're at right now. The diversity of our country here in, in Elko County, you come through pines, you come through aspens, you come through big rock canyons. It's all here. We have some very beautiful mountains, some very uh, highly wooded areas a lot of people are unaware of. Elko hasn't been known as an adventure destination for very long. Sitting on I-80, about three hours from Salt Lake City on the east and five hours from Reno on the west, Elko just couldn't seem to compete with the draw of the two larger metro areas when it came to outdoor excitement. Just a few short years ago, Elko was known for, well, not a whole lot. Now it is a treasure trove of off-highway trails that weave their way through green pastures and river valleys that invoke images of East Coast green as opposed to Great Basin brown. Elko County has so many trails and roads that we can go on. I heard what one at one time there was 30,000 miles of dirt roads in Elko County. This is what we do for hunting, for fishing, for camping, for ATVs. This is our recreation. It's our life. And for men like Steve Lepke, life is good. Today, Steve, along with a group of locals and vacationers, is taking a ride along the North Country Trail about 60 miles north of downtown Elko on Highway 225. The 75-mile loop traverses every type of terrain imaginable, from dry, rocky cliffs where you can open up the throttle to muddy bogs requiring careful navigation. The elevation is another variable, starting at 6,500 feet, dropping to 4,500 at the Bruno River, and finally peaking at over 7,000. At the end of the ride, a return to Elko for some dinner and a good night's rest is the first thing on these riders' minds. Trails run all over Elko County, which is actually the fourth largest in the nation, giving riders almost more trails to explore than is possible in one lifetime. Efforts are currently underway to keep access to these routes open. Local leaders and riding groups are working with land managers to mark open trails and teach proper etiquette to riders of all ages. We want to keep them open so that uh, people can come to our great county and, and visit and get a chance to go out and travel. The annual Elko ATV Jamboree invites visitors to explore the North Country or any number of roads in the area and appreciate what Nevada has to offer. The Jamboree has unfortunately been canceled for this year, but local clubs are still more than willing to lead visitors on a trek into a desert in bloom, only without the desert. We got snow around here right now around us, I could pick up a snowball and hit you with it. If I, <laughs> I feel perfect out here. You know, when I'm in a town, I feel congested. Out here, you're just, you're free. You can do whatever you want to, you know, you can go fish and you hunt. Seeing the animals, uh, the elk and the deer and the antelope and, and all that around here is just fantastic to me. It just, that's, that's what I live for. For At Your Leisure, I'm Susan Wood.